As Equifax's stock had been halted, uh, Rick Smith announcing he will retire uh, as the company's CEO. I want to get more details on when that retirement is coming, whether it's immediate or not. Of course, he's been under great pressure given the huge breach there with some 143 million or so potential accounts um, that were compromised. Some may wonder what took so long. Because yes. already two technology executives left the company the week before last. The stock has been in pretty much free fall, losing a quarter of its value in the last month. And all the departures to date have, I believe, been characterized as retirements as well, right? So it's just kind of a, you know, trying to make it look like a managed transition. Obviously, yeah, under yeah, tremendous I'm feeling pressure. a little old myself. I'm going to retire <laughs> as of tomorrow as right. well. Yeah, no, these are uh, clearly, this is all a result, of course, of the, of the breach itself. Uh, there's been a great deal of criticism, uh, not the least of which from our own Jim Cramer, for example, who called for Mr. Smith's head a couple of weeks ago, saying that he certainly should be uh, fired. And they can call it anything they want, Mike. We've yep. been around long enough to know he has uh, been dismissed. Um, let's take a look at the press release here. I'm not clear as to whether um, effective today. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mark Felder, uh, current board member Mark Felder, is now chairman. Uh, and uh, Paulino Dorigo Barros Jr. is appointed interim CEO. They will initiate a CEO search uh, as Mr. Smith steps down. Uh, as the company CEO effective immediately. Um, okay. They probably should have gotten on that, as you said, a bit sooner, but they are certainly responding to pressure, not just from their shareholders, but I mean, they're going to face a great deal of questioning. It's already begun in, uh, in Capitol well, Hill. Well, the criticism for example, is twofold. Areas. It's one, how did they let this happen? And then in the wake of this, how did they botch the management and response to this with certain missteps like preventing people? from suing the company when they went on to look at whether their credit has been affected. And now, as a result, they've got regulators from an alphabet soup of agencies, not to mention high-profile ones like Senator Elizabeth Warren, who likes to champion for consumer rights issues, looking into how this happened, the accountability factor, and why some executives sold their stock after this breach was discovered, not to mention 30 state attorney generals looking into it. It's also a problem that's gone global. There have been revelations that Britons were affected and that Canada's privacy commissioner is launching an investigation. So they're going to have to be answering for a long time. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.